Hello friends, today we will discuss about intercellular junctions. When cell membrane of neighboring cells, they are connected with each other by various junctions and they are known as intercellular junctions or junctional complexes. They are mainly of three types, number one that is tight junctions, number two anchoring junctions which are further divided in desmosomes and hemidesmosomes and number three that is gap junctions. Here also you can see in the diagram various types of intercellular junctions. Okay? You can see here this is tight junction, this is anchoring junction, desmosome and this is gap junction. Tight junctions, they are also known as zona occludans and they are found in the epithelium of digestive tract, also in the urinary tract, hepatobiliary tract, they are also found in the neurons and choroid plexus. Outer layer of the cell membrane of this neighboring cells you can see here they fuse and the space between the cell is obliterated so there is no space between the cell. And these junctions, they form a barrier for the movement of ions and certain macromolecules. So, functions of tight junctions, they are selectively permeable barriers and they prevent the transport of macromolecules. Macromolecules from the luminal fluid, they cannot easily transport it to the interstitial space at the site of tight junctions. In the brain, they form blood-brain barrier. In the ciliary body, they form the blood aqueous barrier. Second variety of intercellular junctions, they are anchoring junctions which are also known as zona adherens. Here in this type of junction, you can see here cell membrane of two cells, adjacent cells, neighboring cells, they come together but there is a gap of about 15 to 20 nanometer and at focal places, at various places, this gap is filled by dense accumulation of the proteins. What is the role of this anchoring junctions? They hold adjacent cells firmly together in the areas which are subjected to stretching like in the skin. Sometimes bundle of intermediate fibers are present in this focal areas and they also hold the adjacent cells at this focal areas. This anchoring junctions as we have discussed are of two types desmosomes and hemidesmosomes. Here in the desmosomes thickened focal areas they are formed on both the sides of the cell membrane you can see here in the desmosomes and in hemidesmosomes this focal thickening is seen only on one side of the membrane you can see here in the diagram and this hemidesmosomes are seen in the cells of the epidermis because other side there is no other cell third variety of intercellular junction that is gap junction which is also known as nexus here channels are present on the lateral surface of two adjacent cells through which various molecules they exchange and the gap between these two cells that is filled with densely packed particles through which these two cells are connected together. Diameter of each channel it is regulated by intracellular calcium ions also it is regulated by pH and voltage. Each half of the channel you can see here in the diagram, each half of the channel is surrounded by six subunits of the proteins which are known as connexins. This type of junctions they are present in the heart and the basal part of the epithelial cells of the intestinal mucous membrane. Now what are the functions of gap junctions? They permit intercellular passage of glucose, amino acids and ions as well as other substances having molecular weight more than 1000. Also it is important for the propagation of electrical potential from one cell to another cell and therefore the tissues having gap junctions, they behave like physiological syncytium, single unit. They also help in the exchange of the chemical messenger between the cell. Now cell adhesion molecules, these are the prominent parts of the intercellular connection by which either two cells are connected or the cell is connected to the basal lamina as we have discussed in case of hemidesmosomes. It's number one that is integrin. Integrins are the molecules they bind with the receptors. First one you can see here. Then adhesion molecules of IgG subfamily which binds with various antigens. Selectins they are lectin like domain and they bind 
with the carbohydrates and cadherin that is calcium dependent cell adhesion molecule now what are the functions of cell adhesion molecules this cell adhesion molecules hold tissues together second function that is they strengthen the cell adhesion also they transmit the signals into and out of the cell they also play an important role in the embryonic development as well as formation of nervous system and other tissues they also play an important role in the inflammation and wound healing they also play an important role in the metastasis of the tumors they also prevent apoptosis if there is defect in the cell adhesion molecule cellular contact from the extracellular matrix it is lost and which increases which faster the process of apoptosis so this is all about intercellular junctions thank you